and join us. So today we're going to be unboxing another Layla jewelry subscription box on my channel and I'm so excited to get into this because the last one that I got literally was so freaking amazing. Basically the way Layla box works is you go in and you fill out a jewelry profile. They ask you what kind of jewelry you're looking for. Are you looking for more casual stuff? Are you looking for date night? Are you looking to wear specific metals? Is there anything that you hate? It really like for all of the jewelry subscription boxes that I've tried out this was like the most personalized one that I've yet to come across it is $22 a month and basically I was so in love with my last box like it literally was so amazing they were so glittery and so glam and that's what I like put my profile but they really hit the nail on my head with my first box so here's my second box and I can't wait to see what's inside I haven't peeked I haven't looked I literally just got this in the mail so we're gonna see what's inside so if you can see there is this pink ribbon across it like so cute it says Layla jewels Layla jewels across it. I'm gonna untie the ribbon which is so cute um and basically the way it works is if you don't like anything is if there's anything in your box that you don't want to keep they send you a prepaid shipping label for you to return everything so you send back the box you send back the jewelry that you don't want to keep and then anything that you do keep you will be only be charged a sale price so like if you were to go to Macy's or something and buy a piece of jewelry so if you were to go to Macy's or something and buy a piece of jewelry you would be paying full retail price but with the way Layla box works is they offer you a a discount on the pieces so if you want to keep something they will charge you the discount on price of the pieces and anything that you don't want you send back with that prepaid label oh, here we go I'm so excited oh, we got different bags this time we got some cute bags oh my gosh I'm mm, so pumped I am so freaking pumped okay so we have a yellow bag we have a red bag a purple not purple this is blue a, pur a blue bag and a turquoise bag I don't know what this kind of pattern is called but let me tell you it makes me feel like I'm living the high life it is so pretty so last time I got four bags um last time I got a necklace I got two pairs of earrings and I got a bracelet and the bracelet was like oh my god so freaking gorgeous so I'm really excited to see what I got okay so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna start unboxing first bag that I'm going into is the yellow bag and we got a pair oh my gosh okay we got a pair of really cute earrings I'm literally screaming right now okay so when I say glitz and glam they literally like it's like they're my neighbor and they know all of my personal preferences I love drop earrings I love drop style I feel like it elongates my face so my double chin isn't as accentuated if you guys can see look how like i love all the sparkles and these earrings are so unique like i know with a lot of jewelry subscription boxes i feel like you kind of get like the same type of like pattern the same type of stuff that maybe you've seen on like you know at macy's or if you've spent a lot of time on the internet you see on facebook but this i have never seen before i love this I'm not a huge fan of gold and silver together that's just something that i don't like it's a personal preference but my goodness <gasps> I look like a rich bitch look like I'm gonna ask for the manager in two seconds like I can afford to waste my time with management look look how cute these are I feel like an entirely different person with a different attitude with these earrings I feel like I'm along in New York City like just sitting and watching an opera I feel so like bougie I'm so obsessed with these like I'm not even mad with the gold and the silver like I feel like it's a soft enough gold so it's not like obviously like the silver and gold like clashing together but how glittery these are it's literally giving me life next bag that i'm pulling out i'm gonna be pulling out the red one and i can't wait to see because this one is really actually very heavy um so okay so we got a necklace oh is this a necklace it's a choker i think okay so we've got this like silver like a dark silver chain i have never seen a chain ever in my life looks like this before have you guys seen anything like this and then we have this geode it's kind of like marble looking painted and then it's got like um the gold outlining on the stone i will admit i'm not a huge fan of chokers but i'm gonna try this one on and we're gonna see what it looks like so here is what the choker looks like i will admit i'm honestly this one is not giving me life um i do like i like the chain i like the way the chain looks but I'm not really a big fan of like gemstone or like you know, jewelry. I, it's just not something that I love to wear. Um, I like to look as glam as I possibly can. This, it's definitely a glam geo. Like it's definitely still hitting on that like 
fancy type but it's it's not it's not giving me life I do like the chain I don't mind the colors but this isn't a piece that I absolutely love next thing that I'm gonna be pulling out of it is that the teal bag so this is a I don't even know what this oh this is another necklace mmm I don't really like this one too much either I've got it's kind of the same it's actually the same color as the um, and the chain is the same color as the geode necklace that we tried on. Again, I'm not really, I don't like mixing metals. That's that's really what my problem is, is I don't like mixing metals. This does seem to be less of a choker necklace, and it seems to be something a lot longer. Here's what the necklace looks like on, and this is also not one that I really feel hits home with me at all. I don't like mixing metals. Um, I feel like this is very simple. It's not very glittery. It's not very glam. I feel like this is something that I could wear to the grocery store um, and not be a problem. And that's okay. Like I'm totally looking for jewelry that I can wear every day and it still have like a little bit of glitter and glitz and glam. Whereas this one, I just feel, I don't like the mixed metals. I don't like the open um, gold I don't know what this is, but it's like a, it's a strange shape, but like, I don't really know. Like it, at least it is still kind of glittery. Like that's pretty, but I don't really like this necklace either. We have a one more bag and I kind of have, I'm kind of hoping this bag is a little bit better. There's something in here that I absolutely love, but let's see. So mm, I don't like this either. So I was, so I'm kind of a sad now because I absolutely love these earrings. And the last box that I got was so absolutely amazing. Um, So basically this is a bracelet. It's a stretchy bracelet. So no clasps to worry about. I love the pearls. I love the pearls. I wish they were a bit smaller. Um, I definitely like my pearls to be a little bit more delicate. And then here we have a brown um, stone and it's outlined with rhinestones. I don't hate this one. Um, I do kind of feel like it's a little cheap looking with, with how big the pearls are and the stretchy band, but at least it's not a clasp. Like, I don't hate that. Um, I don't like the colored stone. I don't like colored stones. At least they still tried it and they gave me something with the rhinestones because that is glittery and glam. And I don't, I don't remember if there was an option for me talking about whether or not I like colored stones. That's kind of just a personal preference. This, it's not ugly. It's not something that I'm like, oh my God, no, but it's not something that I plan on keeping. Um, it just doesn't really fit into my personal style. So that is it for my unboxing of Layla Box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What was your favorite piece of jewelry? I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.